Devin Brown. I am a bud tender at Cinder in the Valley. I am smoking some blueberry by Noble Farms. Half gram joints, which are my favorite. How would you compare the marijuana scene to Colorado versus Washington? Well, there is a lot of pride in both states, I will say. When I'm in Washington, people say Washington weed is the best, and that's it. When I'm in Colorado, people say the same. Colorado weed is the best, and everyone else's is garbage. But I will say that um, both states grow excellent weed. It's just a matter of if you know what you're doing or not. Both states are very regulated, um, and both states are doing a very good job, in my opinion, with the laws, how it's regulated, and um, keeping things really tight, because that's super important with um, being first states to legalize. So, so obviously, no longer. Obviously. I mean, yeah. Talk to the bud tenders. We're all really cool. We all love weed. We are all in this industry for a reason and we're there to make you feel comfortable and get you whatever it is that you're looking for. Not everyone goes into a dispensary just wanting to get blasted. Some people have you know, some relaxation they're going for or they want even a cream. And um, you know, bud tenders can really help you with finding what you need without feeling intimidated. So team up with a bud tender, we're all right. <laughs> I decided to become a bud tender because I lacked some fulfillment in my life that I was looking for. <clears throat> I was in sales for a really long time with the hustle and bustle, the quotas, and that was great, but I didn't believe in what I was doing. So I had an epiphany one day where I quit my job. I was living in Colorado and this was a new booming industry. And I said, I'm going to do what I need to do to be happy. And Cannabis is something that I believe in with all of my heart. And so that's what I decided to do and I have never regretted it and never looked back. When I'm working at Cinder, my favorite part of the day is the very moment when you walk in the door at the beginning of your shift because everybody that's there is thrilled to see you and it's a wonderful start to the day to kind of get into the atmosphere that is Cinder, which is a very happy, energetic place, and it just changes, changes your mood. Even if you weren't in the best mood earlier in the day, you are when you walk into Cinder. Got my medical card in 2008 in California, and I was um, very intimidated, and I walked into a store and picked the very first strain on the list had no idea what it was, really even hardly what to do with it. And I went home and smoked a bowl of it. And my life has been different ever since. <laughs> what I do remember about it was that it cost me $80 for an eighth. That's what I do remember. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my favorite way to consume is all of them. I love smoking during the day. I love dabbing at night. And I also love edibles. I love them all, but if I had to pick one and only one, I would choose flour because I feel like that's the purest form of, of smoking, the whole flour and everything that is encompassed within that flour. Favorite hobbies are definitely getting outside, outdoor activities, love to backpack. Um, I went on a backpacking trip last year to the highest elevation hot springs in North America outside of Aspen, Colorado, and that was killer. Sitting at 12,000 feet in 102 degree water overlooking the valley of Maroon Bells in Colorado and smoking a joint and being able to slow down and truly appreciate where you are, what it took to get there, and what you're experiencing, I believe, brings you to a new level when you include cannabis in that journey. The sativas while backpacking are awesome because they give you the focus that you need to keep going and you don't feel the pain in your hips and your knees and your ankles. You just kind of get in a vibe, put on some good music, or just listen to the river, <clears throat> whatever it is that you're next to, and you just cruise. So like a, a Blue Dream is a great one. XJ13 is one of my favorites. Um, or even Green Crack, if you really have like a good nine, 10 mile hike ahead of you.